Hi and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Little Rhubarb, I am making brown sauce for you. I said I would and I promised here my HP sauce has run out in the UK. I've got my Union Jack flag on today because in the UK we used to have Tutti Fruity, Daddy's sauce, brown sauce, HP sauce. There are very few of them left and they don't taste like they used to do. So I'm going to show you how to make that real proper fruity brown sauce. Now if you've only had barbecue sauce or gravy then this is a treat for you. If I had one sauce to last me for the rest of my life, it would be brown sauce, but proper homemade. Come on, let me show you how. So why brown sauce? Because it's fruity, that's why. Let's come down here, we've got prunes. Now you could use plums. Prunes are basically a dried plum. I've got half a pound, 250 grams. I've also got four large Granny Smith's apple and a brown onion. Let's take the Granny Smith's first. We're going to core them and dice them up nice and small. Now with those apples, we're just going to cut them into quarters and then you can core them. You can leave the skins on or off, but what we're going to do is dice these up reasonably small. I'm leaving the skins on, I like the extra roughage. Now look at all those beautiful apples chopped up in there. Now why does this taste so good and this stuff doesn't taste so good anymore? Because they started using cheap ingredients. Tomatoes were cheaper than using fruit. Uh, they didn't bother using quality malt vinegar and they used thickening agents. This stuff is going to taste so much better. Now I've got a brown onion down here. Same as the apples. We're just going to dice this up nice and small and that'll be going in as well. So in go those onions on top of the apples. Some raw brown sugar, you could use soft brown sugar, that's 375 grams or 13 ounces. Pop that on top of the onions. Quarter of a cup of salt, just regular cooking salt will be fine. Now let's get and cut up these prunes as well. I just want to cut them a little bit smaller. Now let's get the prunes in there as well. Just about enough room in our saucepan. Now really importantly, we've got a pint and a half, that's 900 mils of malt vinegar. Now we just want to pour that over the top of the fruit and the apples. And then we want spice. Now I've got a teaspoon of ginger, powdered ginger. I've got half a teaspoon of allspice. And to give it a little kick, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and fresh nutmeg. Now I'm gonna grind about another quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg into there. And now we pop this onto our stovetop and bring it up to the boil and then let it simmer with the lid on until all the fruit is beautiful and tender. And then I'll tell you what to do when we get to that stage. Now come and have a look at this. This was brought up to a boil and we've simmered it for about 10 minutes, but look how beautiful and soft the fruit has become. Now what we want to do is just take that off of the stove. You might want to let it cool down a little bit. I'm going to use a stick blender I'm gonna whiz this up until it's a smooth puree. Now, if you like, you could wait till this is cooled down, pop it into a food processor. Some people like to actually put this through a sieve and get it very fine. I like the texture of all the fruit that's in there, so I'm gonna be doing it this way. Okay, back in a moment. Now look at that, that is a beautiful brown sauce. Now we want to reduce that down just a little bit further. I'm gonna pop that on the stove, maybe another 15 or 20 minutes uh, with the lid off just to reduce it down. But this smells like brown sauce, like proper fruity brown sauce. Let's get on and reduce this a little more. Now we're just simmering this to reduce it down a little bit and let some of the vinegar come off of there as well. If you taste this now, this is just like brown sauce, but it's a young brown sauce. It needs to mature a little bit. So we're gonna bottle this up, gonna leave it a week or 10 days, and it actually gets better with age. If you bottle this properly, you can keep it for weeks, months, even years. Now, this has been bubbling away for about 10 minutes. You can see it's reduced down on the side there. Now, you can test it a little bit like jam. Take a little bit of the sauce, pop it onto a cold plate. And as that cools down, and you can see it's still quite hot, but I like to see it set just a little bit. Not like jam, we don't want it that thick, but you can see how beautiful and thick that sauce is now. Actually, that's pretty hot. <laughs> Tastes delicious. As I say, it tastes young at the moment, won't taste exactly the way the brown sauce is until it's been able to mature a little bit. How are we gonna bottle them? You can either put them into kilner jars, uh, which you sterilize with hot water, back into old sauce jars, ideally. <laughs> if you've made a lot of it, you can use a big bottle like this. I tend to take uh, a ladle, 
and a little funnel like this and pour this back in to the sauce jar that, uh, that I've kept. And there you have one beautiful jar of HP or homemade brown sauce. Just pop that down somewhere. Now, if you want to keep this for a long time, it, bear in mind it will last for many weeks, maybe even months, just as it is. But if you want to keep it for years, you can actually pop the lid on this, just like you would do with any other preserve. Pop it into a pan with some hot water. Bring these up to the boil for about 10 or 15 minutes and let them cool down then. Take them out, let them cool down on the side. That will seal them. It will sterilize the whole container. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and little rhubarb. I did the brown sauce for you. Please share the love. Give this one a thumbs up. I'm going to be bottling up this great big bottle of brown sauce and I'm going to pop it down when the family are having something to eat. I like this with uh, bacon and eggs, by the way. Pop it down, have a laugh and see what they think. Be good. I will see you next time. Take care as always. Now, just in case you missed it, uh, there's a video on my site for making homemade tomato ketchup, and that is so, so much simpler to make. Very easy and tastes delicious. Hasn't got all the added preservatives in there. Also, there's mayonnaise. There's lots of other things on the channel. I'll leave some links here. Please comment down below. Take care. See you next time.